All right, uh, let's go over question eight from the Compound Data 1 workshop. Um, so for this question, you already have some sample code here, so some base code. So you can go ahead and copy and paste that into your processing window. I've already done that. Um, and this question's good because it's got step by step what you need to do in order to achieve um, the final product. So step one, we want to declare two global int arrays X and Y. Um, so a few things, it said global, so we know we need to declare that globally. Um, and then it only says to declare it, it doesn't say to create it, we just want to make sure that their um, references are global so that they can be accessed from setup, draw, mouse release, mouse press, anywhere. Um, so I've got uh, an integer array X and an integer array Y. So I'm just declaring them. So at this point in time, both of these references are pointing to null. Um, so we want to be careful here that we're not doing any operations on them before we've created them in memory because we'll get some null pointer exceptions. Um, cool. So question two says allocate memory to X and Y for six integer values inside setup. Um, great. So that's quite easy and there's already got a comment there for us to do that. Um, so we're doing the create part, so that will stop us from having null pointer exceptions. So it's an integer array with six values. So x is equal to a new, new is our keyword that says a new place in memory, a new array, um, a new int array with six spaces, and I want the same for y. Awesome, so that's all done. Uh, part three, inside mouse press assigns to each item of array X a random value between zero and width and to each item of array Y a random value between zero and height. So our mouse pressed method, um, oh well it already has comments here so I guess we can just replace the comments with um, what we're doing. So erase the background so the background is 255 as we see in line 5, so we'll just set it to 255 again. Assign a random value between 0 and width to each item of x. Okay, so we need a loop that will go through each item in our array, and then um, for each item we'll assign a random number. Um, and we can do it for both x and y in the same loop. It's better doing one loop rather than two. So i is representing our index. Um, the length of X and Y is the same, so it doesn't matter which one we say in our loop. And so each value in X is being given a random value between zero and width. So I'm going to write width plus one um, because uh, with the random method, this second parameter we pass in is exclusive, so it's not including that number. And we want it to be between zero and width, so we want it to possibly be width. Um, so for that, we need to add one. And the random method returns a float, so we'll cast it as an int. Um, and then we'll do the same for our y. But for y, it's between zero and height. Great, so we've done that. I might remove those comments. Great, so that's step three. And then in step four, it says inside mouse released, um, erases the background and displays lines from. Ah, so in step four, it says to erase the background, but it says so on mouse press. So I guess we'll follow what the question says rather than the comment. So I'll move my background refresh here. And that makes sense because we're not drawing anything here. We're just allocating values to our array. So it's more appropriate to put um, our background call here. Erases the background and displays lines from 0, 0 to x0, y0. So we're drawing six lines. Um, each line has one point starting at 0 and 0, and the next point at um, the point that is in uh, our x array and our y array at index 0, index 1, um, and so on. So that means that we need another loop that goes through 
those arrays. So another one here. We're drawing a line. We know that the first point is always zero, zero. That's not changing. Um, and the pattern here is that when our index is zero, we want to draw a line from zero, zero to whatever point X zero has, whatever point Y zero has. So it will be X, I, Y, I. Okay, so let's test out this program. So mouse press, so I'll hold down the mouse and I won't release it. So it's not drawing anything yet. It's waiting until I release and it's drawing six lines um, at some random coordinates. So every time I press the mouse and release, it draws some new random lines. So perhaps we want to have a look at those lines. Let's add some print line statements. So um, let's go and we'll print out X coordinate followed by a comma and a space followed by our Y coordinate and then hopefully that looks okay. What have I done here? Oh, I didn't close. Okay, so now when I press, oh, that was a bit silly. <laughs> Shouldn't be printing that. So I need close that and then add an I. Oh, it's a bit messy. We need to concatenate that to, okay, cool. Oh, that's a bit better. All right, so our first line should be at 5.33. Um, oh, so let's have a look and see if we can find those lines. That's a bit hard to see, x is 5, y is 33. That'd be about here. Our second line, 2, 92, and 60. So 2, 92, about here, 60, about here, so that's working. 65, 101. Um, 65 is maybe, well, that's 150. 65 here-ish. Um, 101, our height is 400, so halfway is about there. 101 about here, so that's that line. Um, and then we can continue to do that. We can find all of these lines every time I click. I'll get some new ones here. Great, and that's how you do question eight.